The following segment is sponsored by Oakview Medical Associates. While influenza viruses can be detected year-round, flu activity typically peaks between December and February, but there's nothing typical about this year. We've got Dr. Nita Bajour here from Oakview Medical Associates to discuss how COVID affects flu season. Good morning, Dr. Nita. Good morning. How are you? Good. It's good to see you. You um, too. We're not hearing a whole lot about flu yet this year. Tell us a little bit about what's happening. Yeah, so, you know, um, this season, 2020 to 2021, compared to 2019 to 2020, of course, we had less uh, flu cases. That's, I think, overall because we took good preventive measures like masking, social distancing, which reduced uh, the spread and transmission of the flu virus as well. But it's still around and we are still seeing cases. Okay. So, yeah. So what's your prediction then? Are we going to see more flu this season? I think what might happen is because um, we have not been exposed to natural flu as much this season compared to last season. We don't have the natural herd immunity as much. So if we don't get vaccinated against the influenza virus, what could happen is that our bodies don't have the antibodies against the flu virus. And then we may see another big um, spike in flu cases. Okay. In fact, now we're seeing something called flu rona, which is flu and corona in the same patient. So something to keep in mind, you know, yeah. vaccination is a big line of defense against our viral infections. But well, that's interesting. You can be hit with both. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, we talk about the enhanced health measures. They do seem to be making a difference. Um, while COVID-19 and flu might look similar, uh, what is it you're seeing among your patients beside the, besides the combination of both? Well, right now, I can tell you in the last few weeks, we've seen everything. We have people with very mild symptoms or people with severe headaches, body aches, chills, cough. Some of them have lost their taste and smell um, sensation, but others have not. So I would say the best way to know what you're dealing with is to get tested. Mm -hmm. So contact your primary care provider and go in and get tested. We are doing car visits, drive through visits, same day appointments, walk-ins, whatever we can do to get our patients tested. Because once you know what you're dealing with, you're more likely going to take care of yourself, isolate, stay at home, mask up, mm -hmm. you know, reduce the transmission. Coronavirus is highly transmissible compared to the other viruses. So keep that in mind, get vaccinated. Um, and there's something I wanted to mention called antigenic shift and drift, which is every 10 years or so, we see something called a pandemic, which we saw in 2009, the swine flu pandemic. That's because the virus um, made large genetic mutations. That happens when we basically don't have a line of defense like vaccination. Antigenic drifts, which are more common, is what we're seeing now with the Delta strain, the Omicron strain. These are tiny genetic mutations in the same virus but because we are getting vaccinated against covid we're actually getting a good cross protection against various strains okay. so even though we're seeing omicron and other strains people are not getting as sick because we're vaccinated absolutely and i know you know you've always been a, an advocate of getting those yeah. vaccinations it's important to do um, also, for people who've gotten sick with COVID and have natural immunity, what do you want them to consider? Yeah, so if you've had COVID and you've had natural immunity, that's great. You know, you should have some antibodies in your system. However, the vaccinations will actually just boost your antibody response. Um, and so the more policemen, I call them policemen, the more antibodies you have, the better uh, you have a chance of, you know, not getting hospitalized, not dying from it. You might get a little sick, but it's definitely something to consider. All right. Well, the main goal we want to talk about <laughs> is staying healthy, avoid the flu, avoid COVID. Um, before we let you go today, anything else you want us to think about? I want everyone to really think about the last two years and use it as a learning experience for the coming year. Mainly think about it as not just something, you know, everything boils down to our behavior and our choices, which really depend on our thoughts. So keep our thoughts healthy, positive. Don't have any fears you know we're all in this together i think we'll get through if we respect our health respect one another and respect our community and do what it needs to kind of get rid of this and move on we have so many other things to achieve in life and be happy while you're doing it stay blessed all right we love that dr nita thank you so much your uh, focus at oakview medical associates is always lifestyle medicine you take care of the whole family and you're located at 11 five forks plaza court in simpsonville 627 0444 is the number to call. Dr. Nibajor, thank you so much for the conversation. Welcome, thank you.